What's poppin' YouTube? This your boy G the man. I'm back with another video. I know y'all miss me, man, but I'm telling you, I'm gonna be back. I haven't dropped a video in a while, but I'm gonna make sure I at least drop two videos a month for y'all till this channel really starts picking up. When y'all really start liking and subscribers, you know what I mean, getting our channel up more, I'm gonna drop more content and videos. But without further ado, man, today we got a video of Kevin Samuels, man. Modern Woman Warning Signs. And we starting this video off a little earlier. Check this video out. Check Kevin Samuels content out. It's good content. You know what I mean? Drop some love for him and tell him G the reaction sent you when you do. But um we starting off this video with him uh get into a chat with a female. Um basically this is about do moms hinder their daughters from getting married? Do they keep them on the back burner? Do mamas marry their own daughters as like it's plan B? You know what I mean? Scapegoat. So we're gonna get into it, man. Um, don't forget, like and subscribe, add the cash app. I'm gonna have a video link to all my other video playlists to all my other videos in the description and probably popping up somewhere on the screen. Come on, man. Donate to my cash app. So we can get the video going a little more, you know what I mean? So I can make the content even better for y'all, show y'all support, you know what I mean? Dollar, two dollars, five dollars, just show your boy support. Oh yeah, I can't forget. Shout out to my subscribers, my new subscribers. Uh, get this going for y'all. Shout out to Jake Jonas, Jeffrey Krapel, Rick Calavar as my new subscribers. And shout out to the dudes who commented, you know what I mean? MCBDA, my bad, MCBDLLC, and Bill, and On Purpose, On Purpose for commenting, man. I'm going to try to do this more often to show more support for y'all commenting and subscribers because I really appreciate it because we're going to build our channel up. Without further ado, man, let's get into this video content. You know what I mean? Got the medical cannabis, big thigh. So let's get it, man. Let's let's just get into it, man. I'm talking too much. Yeah, like I mm -hmm. see that. Well, like, I don't uh, know where. A lot of times, mother. A lot of times, women feel like they gave up their youth for their kids. Right. Like it's almost like you owed your mom. It's like a lot of these women, their mothers feel like you owe them for being born. And for you raising them. And honestly, you don't owe your mama nothing. Your mama should have had a husband. And then whatever she was due, she should have got from her husband. Right. Um, what's your relationship was like? What is your relationship like with your mom? Mm, what y'all think about that? Oh, yeah, I got the camera here now. No more dual camera setups. Got the one camera set up here so I can look at y'all. Saying, but ladies, what do y'all think about this? I mean, fellas, y'all can comment too on what y'all think, but this is more for the females. Like, I need y'all to comment more on this subject, you know, I mean? especially when I do these Kevin Samuel reaction videos. I definitely need, if you're a lady, don't be shy, come in the comments. Don't worry, I don't bite. So, you know what I'm saying? Come in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all got mothers who y'all feel hinder y'all from getting married, trying to hold y'all back? Like, it's a jealousy thing. And another interesting thing Kevin Samuel said earlier, which I like, is he said, ladies, a lot of y'all mothers love you, but don't like you. Hmm. Let that sink in, ladies. Comment down below what y'all think about that, what he said when he says that. Let's get back into it. Before my mother passed away, I mean, we really, we had, like, a conflicting relationship, I guess you could say. But she was still young, though, too. So it was kind of like a kid raising a kid. Uh, do you have any children? I have children now, yeah. Are you single or are you married? I'm not married, but, you know. It's interesting she said her mother was young when she had her. So it was like, kids having a kid. Interesting. Peep her uh, words when she said that. 
because a lot of females are having their daughters and kids too young when they're still having even fully matured yet. You know, and that's a big problem. But let's get back into it. Like and subscribe. Drop a comment. Let's get into it, y'all. So you're single. <laughs> yeah. So what? Do you have any daughters? Yeah, I have a daughter. Okay. So what are you gonna do with her? Um, I mean, I'm gonna encourage her to go to school. You know, I, I finished college. Okay. But I'm gonna encourage her to go to school. You know. But if like, you know, like, I don't, I guess, I mean, everyone's biased, but I'm not like to the point where I'm going to say, you know what, you need to go to school and you need to do this and that because, you know, you're just not going to make it anywhere in life. Well, so if you understand what you didn't get. And right. what is, what is school going to, school is something that you do. Okay. Yeah. But what about relationships? Right. I mean... That's what I'm asking. What are you going to recommend your daughter do as far as relationships? Because if you know you, you and your mom had a contentious relationship and you're not married, what is school going to do for your daughter? It's not going to do anything for a relationship. Um, but if we're speaking on... It. That's true. Um... Ladies, I'm speaking to y'all. Ladies that have kids or daughters specifically, do y'all feel that if she has an education that helps her more with getting, becoming a wife to a good value husband, does school have anything to do with that? In y'all personal opinion, like comment down below. I don't think it does. You know what I mean? Because, like I said, I've dated females who've gotten degrees and stuff like that. And it doesn't make them any better than the females who don't have them, to be honest. So, that's just my person. I don't think it matters. <clears throat> a woman having a degree doesn't make her a better wife or a better woman than a woman who don't. That's just my opinion. But, ladies, fellas, man, comment down and let me know what y'all think. Like and subscribe, man. Come on, let's get in, back into this terms of relationship i mean i would want her to be married okay but my my guess also what i'm saying is what right. you know if your mother had told you hey daughter you need to get a you need to prioritize you need a you need a man mm -hmm. in addition to school and everything else thing you think things would have been any different I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Well, let me ask you a hard question then. How do you? 29. And you're in what state? New Jersey. New Jersey. So it's fair to say that having a child out of wedlock right. is difficult. Yeah. So if you, were to, if you were raised to believe that the only way I'm going to have a child needs to be in the context of being married first and then a child through planning, would you, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in right now. No. So how is that not better? Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that. Yeah, yeah, it's better. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, I, I, the nicest way I'm trying to say it is, why are, we, why are women having kids out of wedlock like that's like it's like it's no big deal when you know how hard it is to be a single mother. That is a good question. You know what I mean? Uh, for my fans that aren't in the states, because it seems like I got a lot of viewers that are in the Canada, um, in the UK. Shout out to my Canadian uh, UK fans, man. Love y'all out there, man. In South Africa too. I got a few. I got a lot of viewers in South Africa too. But it's different over here in the States. The fellas and ladies that aren't in the States, in the Canada, in the UK area, like, is having children out of wedlock a big thing in, over there in the UK? Because I know y'all seen everything going over here in the States, in America. Y'all know what's going on over here. Like, y'all seen the modern women, feminism, y'all know all that's going on. How do y'all feel about it? Like, what is y'all mother daughter dynamic over in Canada, and um, UK, and South Africa? 
Like, I appreciate it, ladies, if y'all will comment down. Put your input in. Don't be shy. Make it a little, make it a little girl club thing. Oh, yeah. So it's my channel. I mean, that's true. Um, that's true, though. Okay. So what I'm asking you about, if your mother would have told you to make sure you had a man first, would things be different? You say you don't know. And I'm like, well. Because I guess it's the way we kind of condition to think. So it kind of conflicts when you think about it. You know nope. what I mean? No, I don't. Explain. So, like. She's a uh, pretty woman, too. Like, you can tell she ain't got no uh, makeup or nothing like that. She's not actually pretty. Like, you can tell this isn't a combative uh, female that he's um, got on his platform right now, as we usually have seen. If I look at my past uh, reaction videos to his content, like I said, got a playlist of all my other videos in the description. So, like, those videos, too. Check those out. But um, she seems genuine. Like she's really trying to figure out how to move better and stuff like that because it seems like her mom didn't teach her how to be, like, a good woman to good men. You know what I mean? So, you know, I think she's pretty genuine. And like I said, she's not pretty. What y'all think, fellas? Put that in there. Hey, we judge women look over here. Yeah, ladies, we love you over here, but this is, yeah, we, we do that over here. But, um, and ladies, what y'all think? You know what I mean? Like, ladies, y'all got opinions of each other. We all think about it. <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Like, we, like you were just talking about this whole time, right? It's like, you know, mothers kind of encourage their daughters, like, you know, make sure you, you know, like I said, you, you know, make sure, you know, you have a way to support yourself as well, you know, first before, you know, you jump into relationships, marriage, whatever. No, you're not supposed to have a way to support yourself before you jump into a marriage. That's not. Right. Like, I love Kevin Samuel's uh, content. Like I said, I agree with 90% of what he says, but I don't always agree. And this is one of the things I don't agree with Kevin Samuel's on. I do think women in these days, the modern days, need to be able to somewhat support and stay with themselves just so they can live out the world just like we as men have to. You know what I mean? That's just what it is. It's not the primal days anymore. You know what I mean? Where we, women didn't have to do nothing and then we just came and did everything and they just held the fort down for us. You know what I mean? It's not like that no more. Economics is moving in a different way. So this is why I don't agree with him on that. But most other things, everything else he said, I agree with. But this, women have to be independent. I recommend a woman be independent before she gets with any man or pen or man. I'm just saying. That's just what I think. What y'all think, ladies and fellas? What y'all think? Do y'all agree with him on that? And disagree with me on that, too? Like, put it in the comments, man. Put it in the comments, man. Let's make our channel grow. Let's go. That makes no sense. Because by the time you have a... By the time you can support and take care of yourself, mm -hmm. one of the major... Reasons for being involved with somebody is removed. Today, so many women want to be stable before they're in a relationship. That makes no sense. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, that's what I mean. The general idea is, like, conditioned already. So what I'm saying is if your mother would have told you to get into a relationship early, marry earlier, you wouldn't have a... I agree with them both. And I'm going to try to make this video a little longer for y'all since I haven't been on here in a while, y'all. I'm going to give y'all my time and energy, man. So definitely subscribe. If you're watching the video and you like my face and you like the content and y'all like how lit this stuff is, you know what I mean? Our channel is lit. This is our channel. When you come here and you watch a video, especially if you subscribe, this is also your channel. So we try to build our channel up. You know what I mean? That's what we're doing over here. But like I said, man, let's get back into this. Um, like and subscribe. Let's get it. Have a kid right now without a husband. No. That's my whole point. We have made it to the fact that where women can have children without husbands if we made it okay. 
Yeah, that's not okay. <laughs> well, so. That's true. I do think the government in the states over here has a lot of to do with um, single women, a lot more single moms out there because of all these government assistance programs. Like women here can literally have a kid and get Section 8, which is housing. People in the states already know what I'm talking about. But y'all in Canada and stuff, I don't know. But actually, you know what? People who are in the states that are watching this channel, ladies, dudes, if y'all can put input in, what kind of government programs do they have in your country for single women? Does your government kind of promote women being single and having kids out of wedlock like it does over here in the states? Comment that but down below. We can definitely have a conversation. We that's an important conversation. Ladies, please comment down down below. Go ahead and do that. And fellas, you too, man. Let's get it. Let's really let's let's get a real good conversation and discussion going on on our, uh, on our channel. Man. Let's get it. I'm asking you, what are you going to do different with your daughter if you're not even telling her that a man is required? Right. I know it's right, but what are you going to do? Because to me, what it sounds to me like is you can just tell your daughter to go to get a college degree and she's going to follow in your same footsteps. She's going to be a single mother. I mean, I feel like she could still go to school, but still, you know, be in a relationship and get married. Like, I've seen stories where people get married. What's know, more important? What's more important? Hmm. School or marriage? You can't have both. Pick one. Which is more important? Ooh. That's a hard decision, though. Just given... Pick one. Hmm. Marriage is more important. Do you really believe that? I feel like it is. Because that... I, I feel well, like if you really believe that, if you really believe that, then you'll be prior, telling, prioritizing that in the way you talk to your daughter. I think you're saying that because you know it's probably the right thing to say, but I don't think you believe that. No, I do think, I do believe it. I do believe marriage is like, I mean, cause at the end of the day- Is it more important than going to college? Hey, another topic ladies and fellas for us to talk about in the comments. Fellas, what do y'all think is more important? School or college? Ladies, what do y'all think? And I feel like it's gonna be, the answers are gonna definitely differentiate from people in the states and my uh, watchers in other countries, you know what I mean? It, like, I think it definitely gonna depend where you at. In America, I would say schooling is more important for both to a point. Maybe slightly marriage a little more for, for a female. But y'all definitely, my watchers in other states, like, I mean, outside the states in different countries like Canada, um, the UK, and South Africa, and a little bit of Australia. I forgot to go to Australia. Um, what y'all think, man? I'm not going to forget about none of y'all, man. I watch my stats, man. You know what I mean? Like, I appreciate y'all giving y'all time and energy to uh, uh, watch my videos and be a part of our channel. You know what I mean? Welcome to the Jita Clan. Like and subscribe and share. Don't forget that. Don't create. Is it more important than I mean? college? I think the reason why we're on... Is it more important than going to college? Hmm. It's more... I, I feel like it's more important to go to college because not everybody goes to college. You think it's more important to go to college? To be married and have a life Ma'am, you got a college degree, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so what? You got a college degree and no husband. Anybody can be a baby mom. It's like anybody can go to college. It is more important to get to be married than go to college because most people have jobs. We got people who come into this country illegally who, who surpass the people who've been in here for generations because they have family. You're alone as a single woman with a baby. That's a fact. Um... Because all my friends um, are from different countries. Even though I'm from the States of America, y'all, my best, closest friends, families, all from different countries. And I've noticed all of them are from different countries. Their parents are all married and they all, and except for one, they all have a business that they run together. 
and their and all my friends were always more well off because of what their parents sticking together than me, who, you know, unfortunately my mom is a single mom, you know what I mean? Never married. So, you know, I got to see outside the box with that. You know, I mean my best friend being Korean and my other best friend being um from Barbados and my other best friend, um uh his mom, uh there, yeah, Portugal. Shout out to my Portugal people and Koreans and my Barbados people, man. But um, yeah, knowing them, seeing their family dynamics, I learned a lot, like how important marriage is, you know. And it's not all about love either. That's a that's one thing in the states they push with them Disney movies. You know what I mean? Like we had a real mess, messed up conception of what what a relationship between a man and a female is because of the way the media and Hollywood, I mean Hollywood, does things. But let's get back into this. Comment down below what y'all think about what I just said. Um, especially people in the states, since. Y'all grew up like me, you know what I mean? Y'all know what it is with the Disney movies and all that. Gotta save the girl. Gotta save the princess. Every girl's a princess. We gotta put our cape on and save them type stuff, you know what I mean? But um, anyway, man, let's get back into this. Like, share, and subscribe, y'all. Are you making over $100,000 a year? I'm not. Then, ma'am. You are doing it all by yourself. Would it not be better to have a husband and his mother and father and your mother and father and all of the extended family that comes along with nuclear families? Even if you were making middle class money, if you had two sets of grandparents and two sets of cousins, would it not be better then single mama, mama degree by yourself. It would be better, but then it's like, it would be better. I said, but, yeah, but I then it's, but then it's, totally what's the fear? What's the fear this? though? I do, but I think it would be better. Like if we could say it's better if we live in this perfect world, right? No, we could but say, we it, no, no, no. I don't world. want that perfect world example. We could say it's better if women acted like no, y'all. We could say, we don't want that. We don't want that Disney World fantasy stuff that they be pushing over here in the states, America over here. I don't know about the UK and Canada. I feel like Disney's probably big in y'all y'all areas too. But here is big, and I think that has a big misconception psychologically on women and us males from all them Disney movies. To be honest, among other things, I'm not knocking Disney, y'all. Like, I, listen, I love Aladdin. You know what I'm saying? A extremely goofy movie is my favorite Disney movie, underrated too. I love Frozen. I love all that stuff. But I'm just saying, like, I'm aware. I just feel like it. Yeah, y'all get what I'm trying to say, man. Comment down below if y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> if y'all feel what I'm saying, you got to. Let's get back into it, the Clan. From where I come from. We could say it's better if women acted like it's not a perfect world. It's a matter of you ladies staying in your damn place and not leaving your relationships. This is true, but I mean, men have to do the same, though. In a sense. Well, I want you to understand is. Nah, men don't have to. We down alpha male king shit out here. You heard? <laughs> This is the same bullshit verbal judo that y'all always do. Mm-hmm. As far as like just fifty, we, we have we have a higher than fifty percent divorce rate, but eight mm -hmm. out of nine, eight out of ten times, women initiate divorce. That's another thing, man. I'm gonna keep pausing that, man. Y'all know how we do over here, the clan, but um. Those are stats over here in the States. For my uh, watchers who aren't in America, ladies, fellas, comment down if y'all know what's the divorce rate in the country that you are living in. Please comment that down below, too. We got a lot of things. Listen, man, I got a job to do, man. You watch your video. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. It don't take that much energy. Y'all know when y'all watching my videos, y'all got a lot to say anyway. You know, you're thinking a lot of stuff. you sitting here looking at me. So comment it down. Let's get it. Let's go. Subscribe, y'all. Subscribe. We got to build this channel up. We got to get our channel as big as O'Shea Dude Jackson's. Shout out to him. 
we get our channel as big as Kevin Samuels, as big as Dee Dee. Shout out to her Pink Book Lessons, Kendra G, the Lapeef Network. We can we can get our channel up there. Shout out to all those channels too, man. Shout me out too. If y'all ever see my videos, shout me out. Let me know because I watch y'all videos, man. I'm trying to get connected, man. I know how this working. Here, me and my ch me and the G the Clan, we trying to get up there with y'all. Let's go. Let's get back into this though, man. I'm blabbing on y'all. Know how I do, y'all. Women leave relationships, not men. See, what I want you guys to understand is I just asked a very simple question. Which is better, going to college or being married? She knows being married and coming from nuclear families on both sides is better, but she can't say it because it would invalidate what she's doing. So she has to say, no, you need college so you can have a job in case a man leaves you. But the problem is you ladies are the ones that are wrecking your own homes. You ladies are the ones that are leaving. Men are doing what we're supposed to. Women are out of control today. Yeah. But I said that's why that's why I said that that's how we were conditioned to think though. And I'm not I'm not discrediting that. That is one hundred percent true. Conditioned that by whom? Conditioned by whom? Women. Conditioned by whom? Condi just conditioned by the by whom? I mean if we're gonna speak on a micro level. Speak I'm on I'm on I want, to, I want to, by conditioned by whom? Men or women? Women more so. You're okay, right. well then, ma'am, what men can't do anything about that. You said that's who we condition, and I'm saying who did the condition? Mothers, mothers, well, then, grandmothers. Then, then don't say that's how we were conditioned. Say women conditioned us. See, when you say we, that puts me and men like myself and other men in that system. We don't want to be in your mother's and women's shit. We want you to hold the women responsible for conditioning you to be single mothers. Yeah. That's absolutely true, but... Yeah, yeah. He, he getting in his Kevin Savage mode now. He's absolutely right, man. We men, we want women to be held accountable just like we are men are held accountable for everything we do. You know what I mean? I'm speaking more for over here in the States. Like I said, like I don't really know how women are over in the UK, Canada, South Africa, Australia, part of the world. Shout out to y'all again, man. I love y'all, man. But um, I might want to take a trip out there, man. If y'all know, if I'm a real man, let me know what's up with that. But anyway, man, it's for another video. Um, but yeah, man, I agree, man. We just want accountability to be held. I think everybody wants that. I think that's fair. Equality, right? Let's get back into it. Also, what I've seen in broken homes is women also condition their sons as well. So I wouldn't say it's only women. And I've seen it. Ma'am, but if they're in a broken home, who broke that motherfucker? <laughs> who broke it? <laughs> Who broke it? The the husband, the mother, or the daughter? The mother or the or the, mean, the mother? He said, "Who broke that that effort? <laughs> the woman or the man? The woman, man. Oh man, Kevin Savage in his bag now, man. This is getting good, man. What y'all think, man? This is getting good. I mean, I, I agree with him with that, man. You know what I mean? Especially with over here in the states, is how it is." You know, women definitely hold the household down and all that. So, <laughs> he said, who broke the mother ever? Let's get back into it, y'all. Mother or the, no, no, the mother or the father. No, no, no monologue. No, it depends who broke it. The mother or the father. I don't know, because if I Bullshit. go back to my grandparents. Bullshit. The mothers I, break the I, homes. Bullshit. No, bullshit. Women continue. To, this is where the numbers come in. No, right. this is where the numbers come in. I don't care about your micro. In general, who is leaving relationships today? Is it men or is it women? Who's filing for divorce, ma'am? It's today, but we can't only look at. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, prior to night. Okay. You, it what number do you want to go back to? What, what what number do you want to go back to? Because men have never been the ones breaking homes. See, this is bullshit that y'all believe. 
When? What do you want to go back? To? Okay, it, uh, let's stop right here. What? Stop right here. What? What uh -huh. point in time? Stop. What point in time do you want to go back to so we can see? Give me a point in time. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, you can't tell me today, ma'am. Nineteen. I don't know. My nineteen sixties, seventies. 1960s and 70s in the black community in the black community we were made at a rate of 8 out of 10 in 19 up to 1965 okay so what happened after that no fault divorce the great mm -hmm. society and government benefits okay. incentivizing women to be separate from their men but if we go off the basis of government, it's exactly what I was just saying earlier in the video, y'all. It's like a incentive for them to be stable bombs. You know what I mean? It's 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 really, I can see why the need for the benefits are there, but it also is crippled. It's like a double-edged sword. You know what I mean? But he's absolutely right, man. Man, you can't argue with Kevin Samuels, man. You, he's a you can't argue with an intelligent Aries, man. I'm an Aries too, and I just found out he's one, obviously. You know what I mean? Like, you just can't. It's just crazy, man. Let's get back into this. I'm making this video long for y'all, man, because it's been a while since I dropped one. Government assistance is majority of Caucasian women who are on government assistance. Ma'am, so there's a large, man, man, there's a disingenuous statistic that a larger percentage of the population, percentage wise, it's right. a non starter. Don't give me this Caucasian women. You tell me when you when we are when we are surpassing white people, you can tell me the problems of white people. See, prior to 1965, we didn't need the government stuff. The only reason you need a government that much is because you don't want your man. See, what I'm trying to get you to understand is this is the mindset of women. They believe so much bullshit that's put into no, their heads by women. Well, well, but the I'm, thing that you said back in the day, back, back in the day, back in the day, men need to do what? What can men do? That's what I'm what saying. can like, men do when women walk today. away? What was it again? What can men do when women don't walk? When What can a man do if women... Hey, yo, with the energy, when he get riled up, I'm going to start doing a grizzly smile. Now, he's like, could. Like, they're having it. Comment down below. Could. I trademark that. C-U-D-D. Could. Every time Kevin Sammy go hand with a female, and she's wrong, he got nothing to say. They got nothing to say. We hit him with the could. <laughs> Women are free to come and go as they please. They can't do anything, but then that's kind of like, oh, well, you know, society has taken the control away from black men. Which no, 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 ma'am. See, black men, society hasn't taken control because the same government benefits exist for white yeah. women, Hispanic women, Asian women, and Middle Eastern women. They stick with their men. Mm hmm it ain't society, it's your choice. Okay. But it's also been bred to draw the black house Bred by the whom? We, it, it was bred, I mean, if we're, if we're talking about The that, women, ma'am, go back to, you, no, you, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. I, we have already got, you keep trying to say we were conditioned, conditioned by we whom? Bred by we whom? Were. Bred by whom? We were bred. It could be from the mothers. From not me. could be, man. Not could. could be. Could be. But you got to understand. There is no but. There is no but. Is no but. And this is why I want you guys to like understand. It, this it is why you should avoid right. women like this. They are incorrigible. That's fine. Yeah, he turned up on her real quick. This went, this went left really fast. Like, what happened? Why he started turning up on her? I'm missing it. Hey, yo, that's crazy. Hey, Gita Clan, man. That's crazy. He turned up on a dick. Zero to 100 real quick. Could. 
statistics, data statistics don't matter. They don't want to be accountable. They cannot hold themselves accountable. It always has to be somebody else. It always has to be other society. From the streets, I'm a bitch from the streets. I get the money, I get the money. Bitch, give me what you got, I get Yo, he played the Jaws Lee Hernandez freak out in a studio clip word. Yo. <laughs> That's too funny, man. Oh my god. He's too funny, man. Yo, that is too funny. Oh my god. <laughs> I rebuke. Oh, it burns. Oh, it burns. Oh. You will never, ever get anywhere arguing back and forth with a, well, the white supremacists, well, the society, well, what chattel slavery, Jim Crow, black laws, segregation, and all other shit could not accomplish. Feminism could. And I want you to understand that you, ma'am, you said you tell your daughter to go to college. That's what you said. So it's another cycle of why not prioritize a relationship? Go back and listen. The six points I laid out, here it is. Uh -uh, here it is. I, I didn't make this shit up. College, career, mother, daughter, conflict avoidance. It, 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 you can't make this shit up, people. Mother's bailout plan. Relationships in. Well, the men got to do X, Y, and Z. Men can't do shit. Married to own mom. There you go. That's right there. Career. Education. You, you can't make this shit up. So gentlemen, understand it is not your responsibility to fix this shit. It is not. It is not. You cannot fix this. Don't feel responsible. And when you're dealing with somebody who wants to keep telling you it's the system, we were bred or whatever, I'll uh -uh. run. I do this for a reason. So you can understand how easy it is to get looped into this conversation. I do it so you can easily how it is to get looped into it and make you feel like, you know, um, we we got to fight together. You can't fight, you can't fight outside and inside. I want you guys to understand that the the, the premise today so many women are putting forward is since 1960, there has been a massive psyops that has undermined the black community and taken over the mind of black women. I'm like, where was all this shit from 1865 to, to 1950, uh, 1964? See, the government benefit was there for every... <laughs> All right, y'all, we're going to end the video there. we almost 40 minutes in, so let's go ahead and just end it there. But, um, man, this was a good video, man. Like I said, like. <laughs> oh, man. This dude's too funny. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, you know what I mean? Share the video, man. You know what I'm saying? And G declare, we are out. 
Hope y'all having a great day. Yerp.